A third person has claimed to have been terribly injured by a corona bottle unexpectedly exploding. John J. Curtis, 75, from Mission, Viejo, California, shared photos of the gruesome injuries he sustained to his foot on September 25 following what he says was an explosion inside a case of Corona bottles that shot shattered glass into his body. The retired California lawyer told DailyMail.com on Monday that his injuries included a severed artery and nerves in his leg. New York City barback Gonzalo Luis Morales told the New York Post of his encounter with an exploding corona bottle in July, followed by construction worker Lachtman Ramnan in sharing a similar story with the Post from an incident on Father's Day, with each encounter leaving both men partially blinded. You have to ask yourself, are they so callous that they would rather let people get seriously injured and fight lawsuits rather than spend the money? to do the right thing and recall Corona beer," Curta said. Curtis told DailyMail.com that he plans to file a lawsuit to recover damages related to his injuries. Curtis told the New York Post in an article published on Sunday that he was walking through his garage while carrying a case of Corona bottles on the way his kitchen door, when suddenly there was an explosion like someone shot off a grenade. All of a sudden, I'm in abject pain and thrown back on the ground. My right leg is all cut and bleeding profusely, Curta said. I passed out and lost consciousness for maybe 20 seconds, and just bled everywhere, and then I come to, and I scream for my partner to come out and help me, and he did, and he started picking out the glass. It took us 20 minutes to stop the bleeding and get the glass out. His injuries started festering and got red and started hurting, Curta said, within days of the accident. Curtis went to his primary care physician, who he said told him, I feel something in there. She numbed me up and took a scalpel and found a little shard of glass that was in there, Curtis said. Corona beers are brewed by Constellation Brands Incorporated, with bottles manufactured by Owen Illinois Glass and sold at Costco, among many other places. Following his ordeal, Curtis said he contacted both Constellation and Owens, Illinois, and both companies said they'd come take a look at the case that Curtis purchased, including whatever was left of the shattered glass bottles. Constellation spokesperson Michael McGrew said we take any claims related to consumer safety, health and well-being seriously. I can say unequivocally that we conduct rigorous testing throughout our production process, and our bottles are designed and tested to maintain their integrity. We will investigate the matter and remain committed to ensuring that our products continue to meet our high-quality standards. Share this article Share Curtis, however, is not buying McGrew's statement. They have had months, if not years to investigate, and yet have done absolutely nothing to stop the mayhem or to compensate their victims, Kurda said. What they are doing is irresponsible and callous. Kurda said that he'd like to know what the hell did Corona do to solve this as following the earlier reports by Luis Morales and Ram Nenin, who also said they were injured by exploding bottles. Curtis would like the company to issue a recall to protect other consumers 